Hello everyone and to my fellow Canadians, happy Thanksgiving weekend. Today, as you can see, um, I have a small camera right here that I would like to feature um, in my channel today. This is the Rolly 35S. If you have been a viewer of my channel, you, have, you might have seen this unit already in one of my videos. However, the first video that we made is more of like a an ambush video so I wasn't able to talk about um, the unit briefly but I would like to do that today um, I'll try to be concise and just um, as a warning I will be talking about the camera um, ergonomics wise the reason being is I haven't used it that much in order for me to give um, a better judgment or impression about it. So let's get started. So the Rolly 35S is a very small camera. If I am not mistaken, this is the second smallest 35mm um, camera. I think the first one is the Minox 35. As you can see, this is my hand and it just fits nicely in there. The, this one is made in Singapore. I know there are some Rolex that are made in Germany, but this one is made in Singapore. I got the black body last year as a birthday gift. And unfortunately, I haven't shot as much as I would like to using this one. Uh, if we are going to look at the front, um, front of the camera, you can see two dials. The first one actually determines your shutter speed as well as um, it will like a film guide that you could use to determine what film um, is inside the camera. And the second one helps you determine the aperture as well as the ISO because there's a smaller inner wheel right here. The lens is a Sonar 2.8. And then I, we were able to get a filter uh, included in this camera. And the filter that I have is the Asahi Pentax. I think this one's 30.5mm. 30, 30. millimeter. When you look at the back, um, as you can see, you will see this metal slide. It's actually a reverse. Um, lever that you need to slide all the way up in order for you to re um, rewind your film and at the top plate you, you actually have the film advance lever um, interesting quirk about this one is that the advance lever is actually on the left side of the camera most of the time it's actually on the right and then you have two buttons right here, which is the shutter button, and this is the collapse. Um, I don't know what you call it, but it helps you to collapse your lens. And then this one is your meter. Um, it has two um, needles in it. There's a red and a white one, and you need to make sure that both needles align to each other in order for you to um, have an accurate um, reading. For that and then at the bottom plate is another sign of Rolex 35 quirkiness you have the hot shoe flash at the bottom left side you have your um, film counter right here as well as your rewind lever this small piece of metal plate right here is the one that locks your um, camera back door so if we slide that all the way you I can actually slide this metal backing right here and this is the back of your camera this there's some another metal plate that actually covers the lens and the film and this is where you load the um, load the film underneath that is a metal cap which covers the battery for you in order for you to meter properly so that's basically what it looks like ergonomics wise because of the unique style of this camera it is actually really hard to use it 
at first but when you start to use it more often it it it's not gonna be a problem um i thought i'm gonna ha have a hard time using it because of the way um some of the main parts are placed like the lever and the hot shoe flash but i'm actually more concerned about the lever but once you start using it like you'll you'll get used to where things are placed and then somehow like your your hands just know um where the parts are actually located in this camera um lens wise i think it's very sharp i've only used this camera a couple of times but um the results were actually really great and crisp um in regards with the accuracy of the meter that i haven't really tried yet but um because the first couple of times i haven't really figured out how am i going to use the meter but the first two rolls that i had actually turned out really great so unfortunately i've only used this camera twice last year and then this week i've used it a couple of times that's why i decided to um, use it more and feature that um, feature this unit on my channel so i hope you enjoy um, that quick introduction about this roly 35s let me know if you have um any variants of this unit i know there's a couple of them out there there's a 35t and then just just the Rolly 35 and let me know why you like using them and or if you haven't used them or you don't own one let me know if like what are your reasons why you want to have one so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and i hope you canadians have a thanks good thanksgiving and to non-canadian friends who are not in canada i hope to talk to you guys soon bye